What's going on, everybody? Welcome to my stream if this is your first time coming in. I really don't like my. I wish it would stay like this, but it all is just. Not centered at all, but oh well. Um. Some reason like I don't get the the donut the the donation not donation but like follower um notification stuff I really don't know I have it right here like it's set up so I can see it on screen but like sometimes it, it, the the notification doesn't pop up even for subs like I miss them times but uh, I like I put it in the middle of my screen too but sometimes it just doesn't like notify me but I like look over Yes, I'll be playing through this game again today. Um, I ended yesterday. I don't remember where I was when I ended the stream yesterday because I played it more off stream. Uh, I got to. I did a boss fight. Um, I forgot. It was one of the consoles that came after us. Uh, I killed him, which I didn't think he was going to be that much of a pushover. But I guess the consoles are like, they remind me of of apostles from 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 Berserk, uh, in a way, um, not with like their, uh, monster, not 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 monster, not not their Ouroboros forms. I guess that in a way that is that still uh, I'm, wait, what? I never received my stuff. Oh wow. I didn't even notice that I didn't I didn't I never received my items from my DLC. Wow. Uh yeah, I don't have the clothing option yet still. Um but yeah, the 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 consoles so far remind me of um Apostles from Berserk because With the way they act um, in their non-apostle forms, they act like they're naive. At least, at least so far, at least one of them, one or two of them have acted very. No, not two or three of them have acted pretty naive, uh, and and like they've been around for possibly a long time, because they're the the guy that I killed last night. He was 
he was an old man underneath the mask, which was which is the same as Van Dam. When we found him in the earlier part of the story, he's old. He's 60 years old. He says, "I don't know how old uh, the console guy was, but he must have been an old man too." I'm guessing they're all old underneath their underneath their mask, and they're trying to use the life energy of the people they make to stay alive, um, in whatever way that is. Um, but I'm enjoying the story a lot, like a lot, a lot. It was, it was all I can think about when I was at work today. Um, we unlocked uh, the interleak and and Ouroboros um skill trees soul trees and uh more skills for the Ouroboros and arts um which is it was a really 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 good scene uh with with the uh, with the console i think it was it was k console k or something um it was a really good uh scene and boss fight with that guy use it i didn't think that you were able to to go into Ouroboros form with all three but uh, you are you are able to do that, um, which is which is pretty nice. And they they do it automatically. Your your party members do it automatically when when the when their when their interlink is whatever level they 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 put it as. Because uh, I think it's about three levels to the interlink or something like that. Uh, you could you could go into Ouroboros between one and three. Uh, uh, your interlink being level one through three. I'm pretty sure, but. Um, uh yeah i didn't think that the ouroboros i thought it was going to be one at a time uh per fight which is which would be which would hurt like not the combat but it would hurt like like i wish I, everybody was able to do it at once which which you can it's pretty good i like it a lot i also have new uh commands for the channel if you type in exclamation point commands You'll see I have uh, a bunch of commands you guys could put in uh, if you're interested in seeing what they are. I have Discord, follow, Insta, Insta for Instagram, Twitter, uh, TTS for for text to speech, which is a, a bit donation um, uh, text to speech. So if you te if you donate bits, you get a, a text to speech uh, don donation or bit donation, which uh, I, you can probably put in whatever message when you put in when you donate bits i think i think that's how it works i don't know maybe it just reads your name i'm not sure uh i just set it up today uh so i have, I have no idea and donations is just a link to where you could donate to me uh and sub is just a message saying uh how i appreciate it anyone who subs and getting anyone who follows the channel i really i really do appreciate it the other night ago uh, on the 27th when i first streamed this game it was a really big night i got my highest viewership at 35 concurrent viewers uh which is pretty nice because i'm usually doing like two two or three convert concurrent viewers um i hope to attract more people today if not that's completely fine I, i'm just gonna be enjoying or enjoying playing through this game again or not again but enjoying playing through this game um whatnot i am playing it on my own too so when I'm not, when I'm at a different area, when I when next time I stream, and when I ended, you'll know why. Cause I, I I'm not playing the whole thing on stream. Cause sometimes I just get tired and I don't feel like talking too much, and I just want to just chill and play the game, which is what I did yesterday after I stopped streaming. But um, this game is a lot like the, every Xeno game has. Well, no, I guess Xenoblade One didn't have it too much, where more like stuff unlocks as you progress through the game i mean in a way it, it they they do that but not as heavy as two and three uh two has it pretty heavy where like combat opens up more and more throughout the game which is good it's a it's a story progression it's a combat progression it's a it's very interesting the way monolith soft does their um does their combat does their games uh it's pretty good it's pretty um engaging because it makes you want to it makes leveling up feel 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 better instead of like just having everything be open and available to you at the start you get to pr pr gradually progress through the story gradually get to uh, open open more stuff and then in new game plus all those options will probably be 
available uh, to start the game out and start. You have uh, fusion arts and all that unlocked uh, at the at the beginning of the game. So I'm sure I don't know, I don't know for sure, but I think that's how they how they do it. And I'm I'm ready to get into like unlocking more classes. I have almost all of them unlocked for everybody. Um, I'm working on just leveling up everybody to level 10. Might as well. Um, I'm just doing random ones until everybody's level 10 with every class. That's probably what I'll be doing for the majority of the game. I hope it carries over for New Game Plus. Uh, I, I would hope. Uh, so when I do New Game Plus, um, I don't have to redo it uh, again. Just like the Affinity Charts in Xenoblade 1. I mean Xenoblade 2. Um, but we'll see that. But every character in this game are is um, very deeply like they're they have very deep story like characters. They have very 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 deep characters. Um, we're learning about each one as we go through the story. It feels like I've been get, playing this game for a very long time, and I have it's been about like twenty plus hours, I think, or almost twenty hours, and. We I just got to Taeon stuff, which they started talking about his backstory a little bit. They they we started off the game knowing a little bit about Noah, uh, Lands and uh, Uni. Uh, I'm sure more stuff will open up about them as as we progress. We we learned a little bit about Mio, just a little bit. Uh, Senna not too much yet. And I know some I noticed something about Senna. Her hair is like Bridget's hair from Xenoblade Two. Uh, Bridget's hair is is uh, on fire pretty sure in Xenoblade 2 and hers hair her hair is on fire too uh lands uh can't really tell like what what inspired him his design um I'm guessing Ryan and uh and um and Egil guessing uh because he, he reminds me of both of them or maybe Dunban and Egil um Taeon his he's his own thing like he's a pretty interesting character himself. Um, he seemed more original than anybody else. Uh, Uni, yeah, she's a, she looks like a high end too. I don't know what they're called in this game. They don't really have a, a name for him. They, they, I haven't heard anyone say high end or Entia or whatever yet. Um, but she's really unique also. Uh, Mio, he looks like. Uh, um, Nia, obviously, three letters in the name, um, and she has the um, the, the chakram or whatever they are, whatever they're called. Uh, very interesting character, also. Noah, he's like a, I don't, I don't even know. Like he, he reminds me more of Shulk, in uh, in the way of like, but he's a lot more calm, a lot more. Uh, he thinks in the moment uh he's he's very kind also but he can also be very serious when he needs to be when he needs to be a leader he'll be he'll be a leader uh better than anyone i've i've seen in a video game uh yeah all the designs of these characters are pretty great and their characters themselves are pretty great uh so what i'm doing now is oh oh no I don't know if I can go back here or not. But it looks like I can. No, I can't. Never mind. Um, I'm sure we'll go. We'll be able to backtrack to to other regions throughout the game. Um, Why well, a certain part of the game, I should say. We're technically still in the beginning because we're still getting tutorials. We're still getting all that. The only Blade games they 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 give you tutorials until the very end of the game. So. Like literally until the end of the game, but that's all right. I'm not really looking for it. I'm not looking for it, but I'm not really tripping on going back right now to anything. Uh, I'll do the my daily amiibo before I forget. Get whatever items I can get. I think it's just items. I don't know if they give you equipment. They might give you equipment. I think um, Fire Emblem had a pretty good system 
class succession points? What is that? That's the first time I ever got that. Huh. What does that do? That does that just increase our rank? Or or something? Oh, oh, and unlock the, the rest of the class I needed for each character. Oh, that's nice. Huh. I don't have to grind too much. I'm trying not to grind, but at the same time, I'm trying to fight everything I possibly can. And you can't under level in this game or D level uh, in this part of the game, at least not in the regular playthrough. But yeah, last night I was doing starting um, before I could progress to the main story. I have to do this hero quest, uh, which is for Ethel, which should be pretty good. Uh, it's my first hero quest of the game. So I'm gonna see that out. But yeah, I'm enjoying this game a lot. A lot, a lot. And I appreciate everybody for stopping by. Whoever uh, chooses to click on my stream, I do appreciate it. I did this part of the, this is the same area that I was in before last night, uh, before the bo before the boss fight, and then this um, flame clock. What is it called? I forgot what it's called. But we 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 destroyed the flame clock. Hey, what's up, butter? How's it going, man? It has been a while. But you're in our way. All set and ready to tumble. Hope you've been alright, man. I know I talked to you pretty recently, but, but still. Break him or what? You see that multiverse is not out. Is not out? What do you mean not out? It is out. I have it. I've played it. Uh, I didn't play it on stream, but I have played it. It's pretty fun. Yeah, it, it's it's out. It's uh, it's pretty fun. Honestly, I, I like it a lot. Um, it's it's something new for for um competitive not competitive but just a new platform fighter uh, it's, it's, it feels much better than multiverses i mean uh, than um than nick all-stars uh it, it feels like they have a lot of work to do in order to clean up some stuff but they're on the right track they're they're doing uh, WWE, whoever makes the game whoever made the game uh they did pretty well uh with with design with uh with the way the game looks it looks pretty good it looks like it's a it was made by a triple a developer not really triple a maybe like it's not indie it feels like it's a good game though yeah it's better than nick all-stars or whatever it's called nick uh nick all-stars nick all-star brawl something like that the nick all-stars has a very weird feeling to it is it's fun too nick all-stars is also pretty fun but it's not as uh, not as what's the word um not as um, clean as as a uh, as a uh, multiverses like it has some a lot of kinks stuff to it that they haven't really fixed. I don't really know why. Uh, I guess it's just the engine they have they used for the game for uh, Nickel Nick, Nick, Nickelodeon whatever it's called. But I did have fun with it. I've tried to play it again recently and I just couldn't. I was like, eh, it's all right. It was fun at, at the start, and then I don't know what they did to it. I don't know if they changed too much or or didn't change enough. 
I think I'll die if I fall through this. I'll fall down there. But yeah, multiverse is fun. You should play it. It's on Steam, I'm pretty sure. Uh, free. Uh, the way you unlock characters, I think it's a random rotation of characters every day. And then you can also buy them with gold that you earn uh, playing the game, which is what I did because Batman was like 2000 gold and I got it within like seven matches with uh, I was playing with Shaggy first and I got I got enough for Batman and I played with Batman. But I haven't played it in a few days since I've been playing this. Um, but the game is fun. It's, it's, it's fun. It's a different, it's a breath of fresh air for like platform fighters. I'm so surprised that no company has made a smash clone that actually feels like, uh, they're trying, but it's not, they're not succeeding. Oh, it's, it's, uh, it's hard. It's hard. I think it's because. Smash has a formula and they have a a, a a um Wait, look over there. Like they have a a mo like a, not a model but like a They have a a skeleton for what the game is and what people expect and how they've been they've had they have so many years of, of prior knowledge like 64 Me 64 to melee is a inc like a huge increase of of everything of of how the game feels i think the melee is still like the best moving smash game even if it is like a, on an older system it's still the best moving game um and the best feeling game ultimate has a lot of problems uh smash 4 had a lot of problems but it was mostly because of of the mechanics in smash 4 not really much else uh, ultimate has a lot of like janky hitboxes a lot a lot a lot and they tried their best to fix it but they really just couldn't and at least with some characters some characters are fine but the game does feel good better than most of the smash games but it still has a lot of problems with hitboxes and and delay and stuff like that like from what i've seen smash clones always ha always have just a weird sense of physics and movement uh and smash your character actually feels like they have weight and he's positive yeah because smash I think it's because of the leader behind Smash, uh, Sakurai, him watching over his um, his uh, his creation, him wanting him him knowing what the game should feel like and how other games in the series have felt like. Uh, so that means like Smash will always have like a legitimate feel to it compared to like every other franchise that does their platform fighters because they don't they don't make them that often. Like they don't have a. a like a uh what is it called like they they're no, they don't have their own smash like platform fighter because it's always new new platform fighter after new but never like a a sequel or or a third game or a fourth game they always just this is companies making the same uh well like not the same but different types of platform fighters and nobody can really copy smash in terms of like movement if if honestly if bandai made their own um like if 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 Shonen Jump were to say, "Hey, uh, Bandai, make a um, make a Shonen Jump platform fighter that looks that feels like Smash, that looks like Smash, Smash," they they could probably do that because Bandai makes uh, Smash uh, uh, Four and Smash uh, Ultimate. I don't know if they made Brawl, but I'm pretty sure they they made uh, Four and Ultimate. So it, it, it all depends on on who's working on it and how much like they want to put into how much money they want to invest into it because i'm sure smash costs a lot of money to um which they make back like instantly i don't know and nintendo they have like a rep not a rep but like i'm sure they're not about to have a game come out and be like no like that's probably why metroid uh prime ain't, ain't out yet that took that that's why bayonetta four, uh three taking forever for it to come out uh there at least nintendo has quality over um over anything else they have like especially for their own consoles i don't know what what where i'm where i'm even talking about uh anyways uh supply container airdrop 
from each army's HQ at the castle. Contain many value items. It's always worth looking for rest mode, marking their landing site. If the character notices a supply drop nearby, you can hold the R and check it. That was weird. Was that a supply drop? Yes, sent from Agnes. How can you tell? I'm burning up. We got word that ah. an advanced troop from Agnes <laughs> had been seen. I don't want to turn on my fan because it's pretty but loud. If they're in the middle of enemy territory, it has but to be due to, to some kind of operation. The supply drop must be timed for the arrival of a main force. Enough, you still have the AC on, Dominic? We're after. Did you know there? about the Agnian troops, Tyon? I've known about the presence of Agnian forces in this region for a while. I, I mean, can you can leave it on. Supplies were being dropped. No matter. I won't say I didn't suspect. Oh yeah. Well, looks like I can verify it now. From the way that you're talking, I know she was like that when I walked in supplies to too. mess with her. Well, medical supplies specifically. We thought Colony Four might need them. I see. Then it looks as though we happen to have the same goal. Really? Boliaris was looking for you. Arrow. It's making you me hotter. Come alone, did you? I actually did. Your understanding of the situation is correct, and I can't risk any more casualties. I ended up getting this game so two days early, compared to yourself. one day early. Huh. In that case, we. I got it on Wednesday. I, I couldn't afford any more casualties, and, and that includes you. The game. The store I, I usually go to winning. to get my games early, the they usually have them on Thursdays, like the, the day of that of their they release. To work with you, Ethel. At least in that California and SoCal. We've already made our minds up. But the That's place had it on Wednesday, and I was like super excited. You might have that, that mean I had that mean I had two days to play it. Country. Uh, cause I was I was off Wednesday and Thursday, and my birthday was on Tuesday, too. Talking about avoiding casualties. That was a good week for me. You know that includes you too, Ethel, don't you? <laughs> hmm? I yield. I can't very well refuse you now. Don't worry, Ethel. We're not who we used to be. Yeah, we won't drag you down. Then if we're agreed. Let's hurry and pick up those supplies. Apologies, and thank you all. Ethel has temporarily joined the party. Nice. Nice. There are special characters called heroes. I really like her. She's a really cool character. There are special characters called heroes who join the party. Heroes can travel with you, albeit in some cases only temporarily, and fight by your side. Aww. Rising from the container. That's our drop point. Roger, Dodger. Let's go pick it up before someone else does. Now we have seven people in the party. We should probably eat something. It's a flash fencer. I can't check anything else out. How the reason Xenoblade has British sounding voice actor acting. The Chronicles 1 initially was meant to have a EU only release, but it just used local E voice actor. Only later it was decided to be released. Ah, I had no idea. Because I know Xenoblade 1, it took forever for it to get um, uh, released outside of wherever it, it originally released. But it's weird because it's, it's it's made by Monolith. I don't know where Monolith is based. I don't know if it's a Japanese company or what. I think it is. But um, I don't know. I'm glad that it did come here. I think I first played Xenoblade Three. I mean Xenoblade One 
on 3DS. And, um... That was after Smash 4 came out. And I was like, you know what? I have the new 3DS. I bought it specifically for Xenoblade. <laughs> Weirdly enough. And I enjoyed it on, 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 on 3DS. It was pretty fun. Uh, and I played the Definitive Edition too. Yeah, it was only JP for a while. And then Lady later barely got an EU release. Only after lots of fans reached out to him. Yeah, I remember hearing about that. Hearing about that, I forgot what it was called. Uh, the movement, the Xenoblade movement. I die if I fall through. That's fine. Well, at least they kept the the tradition of having um uh EU uh, voice actors. Some some uh, characters have um, uh, American accents too. Not me. It's really unexpected for us to Oh, I don't want that. Oh, stop. Stop. I'm trying to move the camera out. The only JRPG I have plans of playing is Trails in the Sky. Yeah, uh, I heard people are still um, not still, but I hear. What is it? What? Get off of my. Uh, I know a lot. It's pretty popular, the Trail series. Uh, I'm still looking into it. I'm not into it, into it yet. But uh, I know they're on Steam and stuff. And I remember they were everywhere. Uh, when the beta was out, or when the beta was still having games and stuff. This environment is on Mind you, Final Fantasy 14. I'm sure it has a lot of inspiration from uh, from 14 and its combat and stuff. Since um, this game does have like auto combat and and like it doesn't look like a MMO anymore, like with the buttons on the screen now. Uh, but I think Xenoblade One did have some like MMO inspired uh, UI. I just wish these types of games would come to other consoles. That would, that would be great, but they are loyal to Nintendo. Final loyal to Nintendo. Just like I wish uh, Shin Megami Tensei, Tensei 5 came to PlayStation, but they ain't doing that either. I feel very much the same. Because the SMT5 would look great on a modern console. The game looks great itself, even on Switch, and it runs pretty great on Switch. Uh, it does have some frame drops and stutters and stuff, but it's still pretty good for being on Switch. Just like this game, it just this, the Switch just limits video games uh, on a on a graphical point, graphical stand point. How am I supposed to get down there? Do I just fall? And the, the, the level design of this game of these games are weird. I've always found them weird because sometimes like you sometimes you have to do, to jump and platform, but this game is definitely not a platformer. And sometimes you just have to fall uh, and and hope that you don't die in order to get in order to progress um, somewhere. So like I have to pretty sure I had to go I had to jump because you can't get to the back side of there through through down there i'm pretty sure um it's crazy to think about how there are currently eight trails in the sky games being translated translated english releases are three games behind plus three older games that never got fun. wow that's crazy i know there was a lot of games that they had i thought like already out but i guess uh they just didn't come with they're not uh translated and they didn't get um worldwide releases it means there were no holes in my strategy is that what 
What? What? I don't even know who said that. The trails game usually get trans translated about two, one point five to two years after they come out. Bro. I mean, I guess it's not too in demand. Uh, I don't know. Like, I, I don't. Like, I've heard of them, but I don't play them. Uh, maybe uh, they don't have like a huge following in order to make the developers go like, "Hey, we need to have. Uh, we need this game to be worldwide wide released. We need uh, a dub. We need uh, all this other stuff. Or maybe just." Maybe just subtitles for the translation stuff. I don't know. Also, people don't want to wait, so they play with this a bridge overlay with fan translate. Oh, okay, I get it. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what um who makes trails anyways. Who who what what company makes them? I don't don't think I know. Oh my god. Not like this. I thought I was gonna land on that little ledge, but he just slipped. Died. That was really weird. I don't think I got there was no landmark I got. It was just the area I found. I can't fast travel there, even though I died. How on earth am I to get over there? Normal. Whoa, got a rare dude all right here. Yeah, um... Nihon, Falcom, pretty small company, so they outsource the translations to exceed <clears throat> used to translate them now NIS America makes gay. This gay or this gay? I, I never realized I never knew how to pronounce it. Translation. Day. Oh, my plumage is everywhere. I'm okay, how am I supposed to do this? Am I gonna slip again? I did slip. Oh my gosh. <laughs> like this. How am I supposed to how am I supposed to get over there? I can't get over there through here. Blocked. They were obviously telling me like that it's on the other side of this. get up there mm. I can't even get back up Joy of not knowing what to do and being punished by wasting your time by missing go <laughs> huh. I survive this I might survive this oh wow I barely survived <laughs> this is what I was talking about like the platforming like it's just weird of all these games all these games have have that issue. I wouldn't call it an issue. It's just a weird thing, weird platforming, if you even want to call it that. It's not like platforming is like a mechanic in this game. It's just sometimes you gotta jump and hope that you can make it and progress. Otherwise, you have to keep keep trying because that's actually the way you're supposed to go. It's, it's really weird. But I'm so glad Something JRPGs don't do random. Some don't. Um, Persona and. Oh, no, Persona don't. 
Hunt uh, Hmm. What's the last JRPG that had random counters that came out? Um. Huh. I know Live Alive doesn't either, and that's a a pretty new. Oh, hey, Octopath Traveler does. Right. What, what that's do we do? relatively new. Like a few years, no three or four dream. years. It's been out. Hurry. But I'm glad. Like I like to see. Yeah, uh, th I think my girlfriend like gifted you one a couple days ago. No time to waste. Let's route those nuisances. I don't know, but I like seeing the enemies on the field and, and thinking if I want to interact with them or not, if I need to or not, which causes less, not stress, but less time you have to uh, be in a battle or just wasting time, wasting your time just running into enemies constantly. Like Pokemon is going down that route too, which is good. So if you see a Pokemon on a field and you don't want to fight it, you don't have to. <laughs> yeah, you saw my uh, my uh, what is it called? My bio. Phew. I just changed it Glad today. That's over. Yeah, just one thing. Yeah, that's what I usually be drinking. Usually, <laughs> raw milk. <laughs> Ethel. I don't even know what raw milk tastes like. I don't even want to know what it tastes like. Wait, are, do you have cows? I know you say you have chickens. What? Take your wounded and get out. Like how big is you have a, like a barn and stuff, Leave or are you just or are you just like drinking raw milk? Now uh, we got we get it from an Amish farm. Oh okay. Did I do the right thing, just Interesting. Now? As a Kavesi commander, there was never a reason for any of us to fight in the first place. You did the right thing, in my opinion. The actions you believe to be correct don't always lead to good outcomes. It's more cowish. I don't even know what Some that means. Situations aren't salvageable. Like it, it, is, it feels more fresh, or it, or it tastes. It's beyond anyone's control. I don't even. I don't even know. Ethel. I'm sorry. What a tedious thing to talk about. We'll recover the supplies and head back to Colony Four. I'm afraid I'll need yeah, you. Yeah, I while figured longer. it was fatting, more fatting. I don't want to. I don't. I don't want to know that. <laughs> I like the milk I drink. <laughs> how how often I drink milk? It's not too often, but milk milk is good sometimes. Do I don't know about right raw day. milk. I don't want no chunky milk. Need a hand here. Okay. Only chunky if you don't mix the fat that floats to the top. Finally. Hurry back to Colony. That doesn't sound appealing at all. Keep your shit on it. Oh. Keep your shit on it? Maybe it just went to my... Raw eggs. <laughs> I know, you told me about that before. Oh. oh, never mind. Oh, she's here. I didn't even know that she was here. I thought she was only in the hero. Uh, beginning, gotta be getting them micronutrients. <laughs> Raw eggs don't seem too bad. I mean, I don't even, I don't know. You, you, you enjoy this thing, so it's probably not too bad. 
I don't, I don't know about raw milk. I don't like anything chunky when I'm, when I'm drinking it. Especially like if it's milk. Uh, an attacker pressuring foes with a dual sword type. Dual sword style and felling them in short vicious bouts. Oh, nobody can learn that one. Alright. I wonder if I could play with her. I don't think so. Silver Cyclone, Power Charge. Um, she attacks from behind. She has Smash. That's pretty good. Uh, boost auto attacks and Arch Speed. Also raises damage taken. Uh, a million Flash. Which one? Crit ray attack from side. I like how every move has like pros and cons. Pretty good. Uh, or just or just a really good pro, no con, or a really really good pro and a regular con. Nothing too. Nothing hurts too bad. Like it doesn't hurt too bad to have something like that wouldn't hurt to have, but. Uh, my chickens are like one month away from laying eggs. So far, no neighbors have playing, so I still have eight chickens, even though I can only legally have four. Oh, interesting. Well, don't get in trouble. Um, would they fine you if, like, fine, like, 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 fine you money if, uh, if you if they catch you? She has level threes on. I can't change. Just make me get rid of four, other four. Okay. 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 There's gonna be a trails game in the sky anime in 2022. That's cool. Is it Japanese only? I'm guessing it, it would be. Every day is a training day. Wait. Hmm. Um, wait, what'd you say? Uh, I decay, but anime gets fan translated really this. fast. Okay. But I don't really, I don't really ever trust fan, fan translations, uh, with much. Uh, because it's never never too accurate or sometimes it's just wrong uh i read Ber some of berserk with with a fan translation i didn't even know so like people were like be careful if it's not this if it's not this company if it doesn't look like this uh it's completely wrong or whatever 
because like I was I was running to the when run into parts of the manga that look completely different uh, with their speech bubbles and and the characters would would seem off like they would be saying saying some stuff that I never that they never said before uh, and and saying different names and stuff so you got to be careful with fan translations but I'm sure with a dedicated community doing it or a dedicated person like that that loves the series I'm sure they would probably get it as close as possible my sim from my experience anime subtitles that are made by Crunchyroll often are worse than fans so, yeah I've heard uh, some come like VR Verb, VRV I used to watch Jojo's on there and uh, sub and sometimes the subs would be all weird uh, and I've heard that like they're even like like those companies or like verb and stuff like their their subtitles and, and translations I don't know who they're made by I don't know if it's just like a random person what but they'd be off too also I'm in a league game all right for sure butter take care man I appreciate you for some bye There's something good in there. Wonder what's inside. Ooh, six SP. I need to start seeing what these items I have. I wish I could equip another accessory, man. Um, physical defense. That's actually pretty good if I can keep my health high. But also, like, there's other stuff that increases things. I don't know what Dex does in this game. Uh, I wish there was like a like a, a option to see. No, uh, maybe it's accuracy. Uh, it's not movement. That's agility. Uh, agility is pretty low on him. I think it's because of the class. But um, I don't know. That's pretty good. Uh, chance to keep chance to keep recharge. When using art, that's pretty good. When your attacks are blocked, you're not thrown off balance. Boost attack by 25%. I could use that. Um, maybe I'll do this for now. Agility. I'll do that. Boosts aggro, healing. I don't think I have another good healing one. He's a healer too right now. Give him that for now. Might give him that when I put the healer class back on. Boost damage by 11% for every enemy, for every enemy in battle. That's pretty good when you have a lot of enemies. So I'm gonna keep that. I'll try this out. Yeah, honestly, I'm pretty sure I was supposed to jump down there. There's no other way. There's no, literally no other way down there except uh, through up here. But you can't get up there because you can't jump that high. And yeah, I'm sure, I'm pretty sure it was just right here. <laughs> the Xenoblade series has some of the weirdest uh, choices when it comes to, uh, not choices, but the weirdest platforming, if you want to call it that. Thing is something else like auto sold auto sold 
That's that. Is that what that's been doing? Have my items been getting also auto sold? I guess so. I guess because of the what is it called? Um, the Nopon Trader. The auto sold. Weird. I've never seen that pop up until now. Weird. I have $51,000. I said, I'm going to put my Pepsi in. Hold on. But I hope everyone is enjoying this game. Uh, hopefully, they're going through it as uh, as slow as they can or as fast as they can or however they want. Hopefully, they're enjoying it. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying it. The only thing... Well, okay. I don't usually... I don't usually replay through games. Like, uh... Like, as soon as I beat them. But I think that I might do that with this game. But I think... Oh, I know I'm gonna do that with this game. Uh, they do a remake. Final Fantasy VII Remake. I don't really... I don't really replay through games twice. I very rarely do. The Yakuza series, I do. Um while I'm working on it. I've only played a few of them uh, uh, twice or more than twice. Like a Dragon, I plan on playing and beating a bunch more times. Uh, the, the game is so easy to play. Not easy to play, but like, it's easy to get into. And it's really fun. The, game, the frame rate is horrible right now. This area is causing the game some trouble. Usually, like, most of the time, the game was running fine uh, in most areas. This area seems like it's struggling a little bit. Commander? Commander! Commander Ethel! I look for you everywhere. Where in blazes were you? I went to fetch medical supplies. Distribute them to the med team. Yes, mom. I'll, uh, mom. Wait. Mom, mom. No. Is that what you said, mom. Oh no, 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 you don't. I'm sorry for making you worry. Just, please. I did this for everyone. I'll probably be catching up on people's streams feelings, of but... this game too. I had to rewatch a couple that I was watching well, yesterday. But I wasn't paying I suppose attention. At least you're on home. That's twice you've helped me out. I owe you another one. Nah, don't worry about it. We were acting of our own free will. <laughs> then to reward your efforts, I'll work on getting our injured up and about again. Come, Boliaris. Uh, coming. Ethel. Hmm? What's wrong, Noah? I was thinking about what you said. The actions you believe to be correct don't always lead to good outcomes. Hmm. If someone like you says it, then I don't doubt it's probably true. But back then, you helped us. You saved us. You risked your life. Thanks to you, we're alive right now. I can say with certainty that's a good outcome. That's the only thing I'm certain of, actually. Noah, uh, you... And we never properly thanked you. Ha, huh, so we didn't. Oh, yeah. Silvercoat Ethel, we want to formally thank you for your courage. I can hardly recognize the three of you. I'll continue to do my best to live up to my nickname. Silver coat Ethel. Taylor with Ethel, the party brought back medical supplies. Their respect for her bravery in the face of any and all danger has been deepened. Ooh. May our alliance last. 
Nice. Class inheritor? Oh. Huh. Wait. What does that mean? Does Noah only get it? Or does everybody eventually get it? But it just unlocks for me right now. Uh, class fencer. Class flash fencer. Attacker. Using buff arts is advised before deploy deploying other arts. Uh, talent art raises the attack power, so make sure to perform moral action. Complete a hero's hero quest is to have them permanent permanently join the party. Nice. Keeping your affinity with a, a hero to allow your main party members free use of that hero's class. Once a hero formally allies with you, the party member de designated as the hero's class inheritor will gain the ability to assume the hero's class too. Nice. Other characters can still acquire a hero's class by fighting alongside that hero or any party member who has learned and set that class for themselves. Check how close each party member is to is to gaining a class from characters class. Filling the characters icon fully will unlock the characters class. For members you have views and classes you want to learn, the quicker you be able to teach them to the rest of the like, note which classes you set. Show the characters clothing in the menu. Change the characters appearance in the game. Oh, I can finally do that. Nice. Fast equipment blocks for cosmetic use at rank. For some equipment, your current class's weapons may not appear. Smash combo. Okay, I I don't know why I thought when you got this menu, I thought there was gonna be a bunch of uh, what is Ready it called? For duty. A bunch of um, Ready for duty. spoiler, like like silhouetted uh, heroes. Nice. So I can change my clothing to whatever that's cool i want to i want to do that the dlc uh clothing i could do flash fencer but i want to i want to finish this one first Maybe I'll go to Flash Fencer, Flash Fencer after, maybe. Um, it all depends on the layout of my, of my, um, I have three attackers, two defenders, and one healer, or two healers. Currently. Oh, they're here. I didn't even see that. Like, can I get that out of the way or what? I don't even know who that is or that. I think that's that one guy I've seen. I've seen that's Riku and, and Banana. I don't know who that is. Who that is? I don't know who that. Is. I don't know who that is. One of these is um um Wolf. I forgot what his silhouette looked like. That's this look like Akuma. This looks like Akuma. From Street Fighter, <laughs> I don't, I don't think it's him. Uh, this looks like um, what is his name? Uh, Pokemon, uh, Grim Snarl. That looks like Grim Snarl. This looks like Yuna from Final Fantasy X. Um, I know it's not any of them. This looks like Goku. Um, this looks like the the teacher from Fire Emblem Three Houses. Uh, this looks like Serena, the Pokemon. I think. Uh, this looks like this looks like uh, Leo Leo uh, White Fang from from Guilty Gear. This looks like <laughs> this looks like Videl uh, before like pre pre cut pre haircut Videl. Uh, this is like Android 18. Uh, can't tell. This looks like an older Taeon. Uh, this looks like. Interesting. Uh, anyways, what was I doing? Level nine, level nine, level nine, level nine, level two, level nine. I think I'm gonna rank everybody's current classes up till ten. Who can I change right now? 
Nobody. I don't think. Yeah, hers can't change. Obviously. I'm gonna keep her stuff the same. I don't think we could change anything. Yeah, we can't really change anything with her. Um, which is fine. Oh, more opened up. Good. I don't have any for any of these people. I'm missing some stuff. Faulty cabbage and first lettuce. I probably haven't been to these areas yet. There's no way I wouldn't have any of these. They're probably in the next area or something. I've done all these already, I'm pretty sure. Oh, I didn't change their color of their clothes. Oh, what the? I thought it was a different color. That's pretty cool for her. Uh, I'll do it. Ooh, that's pretty cool. All his look looks fine. Like looks like something he will wear, but the other ones they're just copying, really. to go to sleep or rest up I don't think there's anything new here anymore so what I'll do I'll do I'll just go grind up on some enemies um, what I probably won't do for a while is is level up at camps uh, I'm gonna try not to do that as much for right now until I get later in the game. Mostly because I don't want to over be over leveled, but I'm also like, I need to be, I want to rank up as many classes as I can right now. Just so like I could spend less time doing it later. Don't try to stop us. I'm ready, let's do it. My item, my, my accessory has yet to like give me a another act. I have yet to recharge my art. Uni is almost level 10. Maybe after this fight. I don't want to do this, but you're in our way. A worthy opponent. Oh, there, there it went. It worked that time. <laughs> it was up there. It didn't take too long. Uh, did, did she rank up yet? Yes, yeah, she did. Class. Uh, she's the attacker right now. I have three attackers. You already probably do. Zephyr. I'll do Zephyr. Hard dominated that match so it was fast. <laughs> That's good. Ice slash. 
I might do that. I might do that. Airfang. Scratch out. He does not need to be drawing aggro. Days. Does anybody have days? Bruh. He has it. Oh, I don't. No, oh, wrong person. Crash out. Shadow Eye. Shadow Eye. Shadow Eye on the healer and the tank, which I guess he shouldn't have. Never mind. Uh, ground beat. Ah, I'll give her days too. I'll give that one too. Uh, I'm trying to get my characters rank up. So I'll be, I'll just be not grinding, even though it is technically. I'm not trying to level up. I'm trying to just rank up so I can just switch off my classes. Cause we're, we're all level nine or most of us are level nine right now. Almost level ten. Yeah. Did I go here now? I don't think so. Is it gonna let me come up? Good. This game had an update. I didn't even get the. I didn't even check though. It is like launch day technically. It had a patch Wednesday, which was the day one patch. Surprisingly, it was it the, the companies usually like have patches come out uh, the day of the game being out, and not like uh, when people get their hands on it. Nice. Did everybody can rank up? Uh, 10, 10. Oh, everybody just ranked up. Nice. Nice, nice. Um, hmm. I think I'm going to do this one. I think I'm going to do the new one. Uh, uh, she is. Okay. So I think I'll do medic gun on her. Just so I can have another healer. Or be another healer. Uh. She's fine. Defense? Or another attack? A sword fighter? How many defensive people I have? I have two. Or I'll, ha I'll have two. Okay. Let's do this. I'll provide the perfect I finally started playing a different champion in League. Oh, that's cool. Does, does the character speak to you? Like, do you have, like, do you like playing with the character? 
Like, does it feel like your type of character? It wouldn't be bad to have three healers. And I'll have two attackers still. Another set of three healers. Uh, I don't know what... Meta gunner, she's meta gunner. I guess you could do sword fighter. You line him up, I'll knock him down. No. Because then what's left? He has two healers left and the, an the attacker. He has a, a healer, defense, a tank, and a attacker. He has two defense, attacker. Hmm. He has two defense attacker. Maybe should be a, a healer. No, no, she'll be an attacker. I'll leave her with an attacker. Uh, a Vlad I play Vladimir the Blood Lord. He's a uh, emo mage, aka a vampire. Oh, that's cool. I think you told me about him before, maybe unless this was, unless you just started playing with him. But I think I either you told me about that character before or maybe not. Physical defense. Crit rate. I do that. He's a tank rate. Right? That was a glitch. Or maybe not. Maybe not sure. Okay. Boost damage dealt by physical. I'll do that. I'll put their defense up. She's the healer. But she doesn't have any... Um, evas evasive abilities. Charge off on your own. Come after me, and that's what you get. <sighs> if only you didn't charge off on your own.
I not be able to? Oh, I can't. Period. Also, you can fight in the water in this game. This is the first time in the series. Any other game uh, in the series, you you de-aggro enemies in the water. No, actually, you don't. You don't de-aggro. You just uh, are just not able to fight in the water. I think maybe in two you de-aggro. I don't. out I got it already Just making sure I don't forget, not forget, but I just don't miss out on any item that I could possibly get. You can also jump in the water now in this game. Which you couldn't do in the other games. It doesn't really, it doesn't even make your... Ooh. See, I'm glad I explored because I wouldn't have never seen that. Uh... It's not like you can jump onto land. You can't do that. I don't know why. They don't have that available. Like, if the ledge is too high, you can't jump out of the wall. Don't try to stop us. Never a dull moment, eh? <laughs> <laughs> You can also, yeah, you fight in the water, but what in the world? That camel just fell in the water. I'm surprised it didn't die. Oh, it's, it's items dropped on the. Oh, no, never mind. They're right here. That was really weird. That was really weird. I've never seen that before. I move here from inside cave, customer abundant in cave, but cramped and spells underwhelming. And nasty black fog everywhere, not here, not like here, where it more, more, where it more pleasant. Fog and annihilation. Best and grand scenery of Aegis wilderness, all mucked up, befouled by Ferrana. Agnes and Kevis, nothing but fighting, fighting. Silly beyond saving, say you say, so you say. And yet, you seem happy enough. Healthy profits you're making for the colony. Man, man, is astute, astute person observation. Should be time for dinner soon, right? So let's talk about. We could do with some uh, food. Whatever we do. Could you all come around for a second? Do so you know where there was all that black fog in Benno Cave? Yes, that was uh, that was pretty bad, right? Only have the information I gained in the survey branch, but it's thought that the fog usually pre presages an annihilation. Of we escaped unscathed this time, but there was a very real chance we could have been caught in it. Pardon me. Irritatingly, just noticing the fog won't be enough to forewarn us. Currents. So it's not that quick then. It's gonna be a problem. Well, it could happen anywhere between a few minutes to several years from the time of observation. There's no direct correlation between finding the black fog and the timing of the event. Uh, well, that's just great news, isn't it? Best not to get anywhere near it then. That's about the extent of it. Not, not that anyone's exactly been diving into it with glee anyway. Uh, can't cook more food yet, pretty sure. We can only make like one thing. Uh, do I need that? What's my time at? 
How much time do I have? Oh, I, it ran out. Never. Food actually looks pretty good in this game too. <laughs> this has me raring to go. Uh, I don't think I, I can craft. Crabble. I don't even think there's a crabble anywhere near us. No level threes yet. These are really useful. So if you, if anyone who's playing this game, if anyone's playing it, make sure to pick up every item you see or kill every enemy multiple times because you can get special items in order to uh, put on your character. Uh, well, gems. You can make gems to put on your character and they help a lot. Like a lot, a lot. More than not doing it. That's why I'm picking up everything I see, and inclu including uh, the Collectopedia stuff, uh, with where um, NPCs want items, certain items from you, uh, and they you could put it up on the board that they have for their card, like Collectopedia card, and you can just clear the quest without really like looking for the items that you need because you would have uh, collected them already. So items are incredibly useful in this game. All these little items, random items throughout everywhere. Super useful. And they respawn pretty quick too. I don't know how like how easy it is to find a legendary item or legendary or rare items and stuff. Um such a pleasant fragrance. Shall we eat? They say an army marches on its stomach. We literally just I'm gonna make sure that I don't have anyone else to talk to, which it looks like I do. I think they're up in here and here. Some of these people might be new, I'm not sure. I'll talk to the majority of these people already, but... Oh, see? Yeah. It's always good to explore, even if you explored it already. Some random people might end up having more stuff to say. I saw an Oparon's gathering dust uh, is busted and won't work anymore. Right? No point in me trying, even going then. Oh, nice. Oh, there's another Piranus Hulk, Hulk that uh, I haven't been to yet, probably. Unless it was the one that I already did. Thanks to those medical supplies you got for us, it looks like we'll be able to ride out a rough spot. Hey, glad we can make it make a difference. It gave us a chance to walk out as well. I'm sure news of your good deeds is already spreading. Take solid care of yourself. It's good to talk to people because it increases the affinity of the area of the of the colony that you're in I used the people with the stars next to their uh, ellipsis icon there you can see the people on your map that are green dots that means uh, it's people to talk to Ah, uh, hey, I just want to say thanks for what you did with the commander. They can't be far off clearing up the debris on that blocked road. <laughs> if you need to rest up, now's the time. I guess I'm not getting points for these, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, I don't know if there's anybody else inside here. The secret to Ethel's strength is in her talent iron. Her attack power goes up every time she uses it. Read the flow of battle well and virtually unparalleled as an attacker. That said, she might end up inadvertently drawing enemies' attention and process. Defenders have to be equally vigilant. Yes, but uh, everybody in the, well, the AI in this game seems pretty good. Uh, sometimes it's a little off because of uh, the healer is not healing. Or the healing just doesn't do as mu as much healing as I would hope uh, for a for a huge like uh, team based game like this. Like sometimes the healing just doesn't heal too much at all. I don't think I could land that jump right there. Can I survive this? Barely. Oh, nice. 
sure you've heard the recon report, right? The one about the Hucks, Hucks being scared all over, right? By the Sea Breeze, Sing Breeze funnel, right? That's yeah, I figured it was gonna work. And now we know things. Yeah, this game has basically told us so far uh, to thoroughly everywhere multiple times um, to get all the information you need uh for when you can sit down and talk to your people about the stuff and that's how quests are accepted that's how things are it, it, i'll show you i'll show you i did it already but better make sure we're well we can sit down and discuss stuff sometimes it's just it's just um that that might that's the side quest this probably isn't it's just letting us know where something is where should i start i wish it was more stuff was voice acted though uh most of the dialogue uh in non cutscenes are are um, just text box. It seems Millic Meadows isn't the only place with the rusted out piranhas, huh? Yeah, if I had to guess, I'd say they're scattered all over Ionia. What bothers me is how total they are. They all are. Surely that can be standard practice, right? Piranhas is coming different different flame clock rank. If they aren't used, their strength the defeat can be. Retrieval and transportation of piranhas also cost, leaving it to ride on the field can sometimes be simple. Then it turns into a, into a monster breeding ground. Man, that makes my blood boil a bit. But even abandoned, it can contain a wealth of supplies. I think they'll prove useful on our journey. For sure, if we can, if we see one anywhere, we should make an effort to check it out. Let's lay out the facts. Hmm. Something bothering you now? Your brow is awfully furrowed. Huh. Oh, sorry. I didn't realize I was making a face. Is there something on your mind? Yeah. It's nothing too important, though. Oh, really? <laughs> sure you're not remembering the thing about oh, the husks? Ah, uh, yeah, that has to be. Yeah. Am I really that easy to read? We've known each other for so long. Of course we can read mine by now. You're talking about the husks? Husks that were left near the Sing Breeze funnel plate. It was, it, it would be dangerous to send them off. They're right inside monster ter territory. Is it really bothering you that much? To be honest, I don't think I can let it go. At the same time, though, it feels wrong to put anyone, everyone in danger just because I'm feeling like coming back like that isn't. Like we'd rather just, we rather you just ask us straight up. And anyway, not like anyone here would object to sending off us. Of course not. I've been in favor it, in favor of it from the start. Right, we have to give them a proper proper send off. Noah, Mio, you're the you're the officers here to make the judgment call. I'm sorry everyone. Ah uh, no scratch. Thank you for going along with Mio. Alright. So some when you when you see those exclamation points other on other over characters' heads, that means you can listen in to their conversation and see what's going on, see what's wrong, or see any type of information. You... And then when, you, when they're done with that, you can go and sit down at a, at, at the, at a fireplace, um, a rest spot, anywhere, any rest spot, and talk it over with the team. And it'll, that'll, that'll happen. I don't know if I can even go to that place yet. Uh, I could try to fast travel there. Uh, maybe I can. I might. Tr oh, I think this is that camel. That super hard camel I was having a difficult time fighting. I might try to fi refight it right now. Just for its, uh. Um. For its. Whatever it's called. That so was like level 19 when I beat it. Maybe level 18. I was trying to beat it on stream yesterday, I couldn't, I gave up, so I came back to it and I beat it. And this isn't my this is my first time trying refighting a uh, a boss. It took seven minutes. I think I have three do I have three healers right now or two? I have two still. Doing a lot more damage than before. I have smashed too. 
I don't think anybody has Lawrence. Oh man. I wish someone, I don't think anyone has, eh, I mean, uh, uh, Barnes. I don't know, though. This song is incredible. It really is. Yeah, I'm having a much easier time. Fucking interlink. Where, who, where's Mio at? I could chain. I should have chained attack. Oh well. That was much easier. Cause I got the ability to uh, use my Ouroboros. Might have to refight some uh some uh unique monsters. The ones I fought around here. I don't think I fought a few. Not that many. I have not been able to go up this way. Hopefully I can now. I don't know if I can or not. Oh, okay. What kind of place is this? Don't try to stop us. This one looking at me funny. Hey, you. I'm the one you want. Thanks. I guess nobody has wants. I think, uh... I thought Lance's class had launched, but... I don't know why. Did I take away my my talent art? Uh, oh, some we need to earn Neo that I have. The the arts hurt arts. Well, this class's arts recharge pretty fast. in my strategy everybody still rank rank one see the arts took this no I still have the regular one damage by behind I'm actually liking the ones I have right now so. all attack and art speed also raises raises damage taken all slash might take this off 11 seconds that's the fastest one i have though hidden thorn is really slow but it, inf it inflicts bleed which is a pretty good debuff mm. roll action charge yeah, but also have infinity blade upgraded at rank five what does that mean upgraded I haven't really used Inf Infinity Blade yet, so I'll, I'll do that. Does anybody have... Oh, nobody has it. Nobody has a... Uh... Launch. Which I think is hers. Her class is the... Uh... Nobody has her class. 
Oh, well, I guess I won't be able to launch yet. Ash. Who has days? He has days. He has days. But nobody used it in that fight. I wonder why. Revolution, Edge, Acceleration. Oh, that's a different move. He has different moves for this class. I didn't realize. Um, maybe I should put on acceleration over. Over. No, that's pretty good. These are all pretty good. This one's just fast. 50 seconds. Hopefully it lasts. Uh, maybe like 30 or 40 seconds. So like the buff will last longer. Buffs usually last like 20 seconds at the at the most I've seen. But I don't know. Acceleration. I wonder if it works for itself because it boosts our speed. Which means instead of 50 seconds, it should be like less than. I'll try it out. Because then it will work. With what I have. Let's see. Also, who are the tanks? Oh, for some reason, when you get a new class, you your your um your accessory changes. I don't know why. I wish it didn't. But I have, oh, oh my silver belt. Uh, maybe I'll keep that on him. No, I'll, I'll put that back on. Uh, defense person. Evasion. When health is lower though. Block rate, she has Neo's on, which means she's a evasive tank, not a not a defensive tank. So I have to put on something that would help her out with that. This means she shouldn't be getting hit, and she should be dealing damage still. I might just give her this silver belt. Give her some attack. Her health is really high. Uh, I need to, oh my gosh, I need to change all these people's. Uh, he has that equipped. Aggro I'll, I'll give that to her. Since He's a defensive tank, so he needs the... Or he just needs either aggro or more defense. Which I have something. Like, for for that. But right here, I have no idea. When incapacitated, aggro does not reset, but remains at six. Might do that for now. Uh, see if I can find what I'm looking for. Boost damage dealt when attacking enemy targeting. Because the, the tanks in this game, they can't seem to hold aggro as much as I would want. Um, I thought I had an item that boost aggro over time
That's pretty good. But I thought Uni had that on. I mean, uh, then I had that on. Might put that back on her. All right, I'll just keep. I'll just keep that on. This right? Maybe I'll, I'll, I'll do that. This is good when it's a lot of enemies. Feel then her attack would go skyrocket. Um. Burns auto attack interval. <laughs> Increases attack. I'm still an attack one, so crit first print percentage crit percentage uh boost Oops. that I'll put that on because I have bleed the healer. She is maximum health. I don't even know if she needs maximum health. Who's aggro generated when using an art? I'll do that. Uh, um, I want him to get the aggro. More aggro, I should start each battle with aggro. What's his defense at? 44? Oh, block rate. That's fine. Um, fine. Well, actually. I'll probably put the less aggro one on him. Attack. Auto attack interval. Has. Reduces that girl. No, oh, I keep her like that. I can't change hers. I think that's it. I think that's it. Oh, this is a new area. Oh, wow. I didn't realize I was going to a new area. I thought I was, I thought I was loading up the cutscene for the, for that. Jaggy. I better send them off. They said it was dangerous. I haven't fought anything dangerous yet for this side quest. Cause I didn't have to fight those uh those uh those enemies on the way up. I only did it just just because. Maybe it happens now. And with that, I think our job is done. What you what say you, Noah? Yes, I think so too. Thank you all for helping me. I should bring a little peace to those who felt fell part way. Yeah, I really hope it does. Oh, that was easy. Oh, got a, got a lot of affinity for that. Ooh, no wonder. Are those Cherokee? No, those are um, Ignis. 
this thing? I didn't realize there were like level 40 plus enemies. Right? I'll try to run if I can come this way. Let's see what this way looks like and what kind of items I can find. It's another thing to see it for yourself, eh? Hopefully these items aren't the same ones as the other. Oh man! Oh, I got, I got knocked out <laughs> instantly. One attack. I'm gonna go get that ether uh, channel up there. And it seems like you're gonna have to replay, not replay, but uh, re, um, revisit this area, or some, or a lot of areas. You're gonna be able to because there's areas where there's level 40 plus enemies and 50 plus and and plus those levels throughout the areas in this game so far I'll claim the ether here um what else is yeah part I can get or I don't see me. Oh man, I knew that was gonna. Happen. I don't know why they always target the the main party member. Oh. Oh. That was really weird. That was really weird. Side quest over here. Uh, I don't know. Usually, like, I cannot help them. I will not be able to help them or do anything with that. Something so bad is here. Hey, is that? Come on, Mio. A cave. I'm not going in there. Um, I'm gonna get this thinning thing right here. Where is it? Do this. I better send them off. Also, the AI can get stuck on some enemies um, while trying to come and revive you. I've had that happen. Uh, a few times yesterday where I was dead and fighting that camel uh, monster that same one and they couldn't get to me because they got stuck on on the leg of the of the camel that was uh, a little weird all right I'm gonna fast travel back so I don't get killed again so that fast travel back what is that was that always there huh Such a oh, this is fragrance. new. This wasn't here before. Friends gather around. Look at Marvelous the Rift's product. There's so much choice. Beef beans. I have a lot of those. I don't have any of these. I'll buy five. Uh, since stuff sells automatically, you don't you don't have to go to the menu and sell. Like the sellable items sell automatically. Don't ever have to go to your menu and sell the items, which is interesting. Uh, it gives you, it makes you spend less time on things like that. 
on selling items and stuff. Let me continue story. Make sure everybody's good and quit. Liberty wing. That could be good. Uh, I'll save for that. Uh, F punishment. What else? Is that it? Oh. Yeah. I think that's it. I could buy for him. Or for this one. Oh no, this one. I'll do that. Check out this sick new skill. Uh, they heat up less. Which is good. We could do with some food. There we go. Nice and clean. I don't think we yeah, we don't have any. Any opportunity to rest is welcome. Another bit thinner, I think. <sighs> Best bath ever. Hmm? You taking a dip, Mimi? It's nice and warm. Uh, Ew. I might skip today. Was a really a sweaty Ew. one. What? How can you miss a hot bath opportunity? Then again, I guess when you smell so nice already, maybe it's no problem. <laughs> Are you, uh, embarrassed about other people seeing you? There's no need to be. Miss Ethel thought of everything. She even managed to give us a window when the bath would be empty. Do you want a, uh... I did know that. Hold on, I'm gonna mute my mic, mute my mic first. I guess maybe I will take a dip. a girl. <sighs> okay. Don't wait for me. All right, then. Have a good one. And good night. Yeah. Good night, Sana. Sorry, I was ordering pizza for dinner. Well, I still am. I didn't want to yell over the over the mic.
Okay, um... It's, okay, so I, I, I bought... I ended up buying the collector's edition or special edition of Xenoblade Chron Chronicles 3. Um, and it wasn't going to arrive to me uh, on time. I already knew it. I already knew it. And, um,. For some reason, it was barely shipped out earlier this morning. So I already figured by by like the start of this week, I was like, I'm gonna have to buy a second copy in order to play early, especially if, if it was available early. Like if I got it on Thursday or Friday, I would have been fine. Um, but it was it was still processing, and it even there was no shipping information gave, given to me until today. So. I bought this game on Wednesday knowing that I wasn't going to get my copy time to play it even on release day. I don't know why Nintendo has it so they ship the game out on release day instead of, you know, before release day like everybody else. Uh, it's my first time ordering through Nintendo or for a game, so I don't know what, what their problem is. And the weird thing is, I got my PS5 the day before it was, it was it was no yeah the day before it was uh officially released i don't know what day it came out i forgot but it was it was either thursday or like a monday or something i got it i think it was monday and it was supposed to be out tuesday i got it that monday and i was i was super excited for it i didn't know it was coming uh that that fast but it got here before the release day and same with samus returns when i got that special edition at gamestop I didn't know when it was coming, especially knowing GameStop, how, how, weird, how weird they are. Uh, I didn't really trust them too much, but I was going to wait for it anyway. But it ended up coming day before uh, the release date. So, like really early on in the day. So it was pretty cool to have it waiting for me to go home. Um, I didn't even read that first text. Colony 4 is engineer, engineers are excellent. They took care of, of that faster than I thought they would. I guess we will be saying bye bye to Colony Four. We owe you, Ethel. No, it is I who indebted you. If you can spare the time, you ought to call in on Boliaris. Really taking a liking to all of you. Cool. Yeah, we'll go see him. Also, there's something I need to tell you before you depart. There are many prying eyes and hungry ears here to take this. Still. My mouth is like <laughs> Affinity level. I'm at level 2 with this colony. Uh, solving colony folks' problems will deepen your affinity with them. Uh, this can be done by completing quests, filling collectopedia cards, requests, etc. Raising your affinity with the colony grants affinity bonuses that make your adventure easier. Go to party skills, affinity bonuses, see what uh, bonuses you want. This is a really good system. I saw this last night before they introduced it. Uh, where was it? it? Wasn't system. Where was it? Party skill. Uh, affinity bonuses. I don't have anything with anybody yet, and I'm not sure how to unlock what yet. Uh, uh, but these are going to be really useful for the game. Uh, speed jogger is going to make us run faster in the in the in the field. Maybe in battle too. I'm not sure. But that's gonna be a really good help. I mean, you run already pretty decently fast. It could be faster. When it, I don't know how how fast you can get, but that's gonna be really good to have. And all these other items. I mean, all these other uh, uh, things as well. So I'm I'm excited to unlock all that. Uh, I don't know if there's newer new people to talk to or not. Um, I'm at level two with this colony, but it didn't unlock anything for me yet. Maybe that's why we go up here. Maybe it unlocks something. Yep, we got places we need to be. I 
I can just fast travel up there, but I want to see if um, if I need to talk to anybody on the way up there. I have to restart the game. Tugging a little bit. I know Xenoblade 2 had that problem where after a while the game um, is called Memory Leak and the game would like lag a lot. Once you enter the office, you'll be unable to include Ethel in the party. Um, I don't think that takes away her job class. I mean, her class. From, from everybody else learning it. Uh, let me see. Let me see everybody's progress with it. Because I only, only fought a few people with it. Uh, almost ranked 2. A... I don't know if she becomes available later. I'm sure she does, but maybe I have to be, I have to max out mine first in order to max out hers. I don't know. Oh, did this change? This. I'll keep that. I just noticed I didn't change these. Boost aggro generated, boost aggro generated, topple. Does anybody else have topple? This is good to block, but it doesn't do as much damage as I hope. Okay, let me let me read up on it first before I make my decision to go to continue or not. Guild, I don't think it's guild. Combat. Uh. I wonder what the role actions are for her class because I was trying to get it up, but it just wasn't working with uh, my other arts. I had no idea about that. Oh, chain attack. Okay, I haven't did that. Yet. I haven't done that yet. I want to see about. It might not be in battle.
hero. I need to look up hero. Heroes. Complete a hero's hero quest. Uh -huh. Once a hero formerly allies with you in class inherited. Uh huh. Other characters can still acquire a hero's class by fighting alongside that hero or any party member who has learned that and set that class with them. Okay. So uh, it's fine to uh, continue the story. Yes. Pretty sure. But I liked having her. But I want to progress so I can do more stuff outside of this area. Do those side quests. What in the world are these people? I have to ask before you go. Why is it that you stick together? Given what's what, we pretty much have to. Considering how everybody attacks us on sight now. At this point, I suppose... it just panned out this way. You really think so? That's not really how it looks to me. Well, one thing's for sure. We were sworn enemies once. And yet, we all share the will to live in the now. Before becoming Ouroboros, I never realized, but that common will, it was reason enough to stick together. I see. Not everyone makes the choice to fight willingly. Lance said that you have to. Well, right now every one of us has to. There's no question it would be better if they didn't. Your journey may have started out of necessity, but now... You're pushing forwards towards a common goal. And that, that might be all we want, and all that we wish the world could be. What we wish it could be. You're heading out as well. As soon as we're done here, I'll make for the castle. What? You forget, I am the commander. We haven't revolted against our nation, so I have to report in. Ethel, are you sure? Oh, don't worry. I'll be leaving you out of it. That's not it. The consul earlier turned Mobius. Were it to... If you mean that monster, I'm well aware of the risk. Then why? Because it's my responsibility to those I command. As for the Consul, we can say he died in an accident. Yeah, right. They know already. Are you kidding me? can't do it remotely. Now that the Consul and Flame Clock are both lost to us, I have to make a report and not over comms. I have to requisition more supplies, too. And what if... what if they fit you with a new clock? <laughs> I can worry about that then. You're fine with it. Really? Don't get preoccupied with us. Keep to your path. Follow it, wherever it may lead you. Life is short. <laughs> I suppose. Hey, while we're all still here, one more word of warning. Hmm? The Consul was attempting to remove you from the picture. In light of that, you'll likely come up against hostility. But listen, you should keep engagement to a minimum. Kevis or Agnes, that goes for both of them. But if we break their clocks, just like with Colony 4 here, they would, well, they would be free, wouldn't they? You'd do well to remember not everyone thinks the same as I do, even within this colony. Many still haven't come to accept their new reality. Ah. Uh. To make things even more fraught, in other colonies, there are those who are more than willing to fight. Yeah, they're really nice eyes. So it's no use appealing to their sense of compassion, or hoping they'll treat us fairly, is that it? 
<sighs> yes, precisely. You will change the fate of others just by virtue of coming into contact with them. It's quite the burden. You may not want the responsibility. A burden, perhaps. All that said, you get embers on your coat, you have to brush them off. If push comes to shove, do not flinch. Do whatever it takes, for the greater good. I wish you all a smooth and fruitful journey. Uni is the only one that's out of, like, color. Ouroboros, Maybe. huh? If only... With her DLC color. We could have been there as well. Ethel is a pretty good character. Everyone so far is well written. Everyone that they introduced. Uh, even the Nopon right here. We should check the route data again. Make sure we're on the right path. Right, right path. We're of course, we're on course for Sword March. First, we need we'll need to take the Southeast Road, Ribby Flats. Ah, uh, yes, that's the route that Ethel recommends. Correct. That the battlefronts are pretty static at the moment. Do, but do we have any intel about colony point deployment? As far as Ethel and Colony Forest concerned, we've got a pretty good idea. But what about any other? I wouldn't expect any shenanigans. I wouldn't expect any shenanigans all the way out there. In any case, we mustn't let our guard down along the way. Danger could be lurking anywhere in the background, though insecurity stalks us. Not much we can do about that, though. Ah, come on, man. Whatever. Let's hope so. Hey, I mean, if we run into another colony, if it isn't necessarily a bad uh, Are you sure about that? It doesn't matter if we run into Agnes or Kevis. Either one would be getting into a dust-up. True, but if what but what I mean what I meant was if we destroyed their flame clock flame clock, we set everyone free like we did for Colony 4. Well, sure I mean conditions allow it. If we're brushing off embers, we'll have no choice in them. Hey, maybe it's better if we put it off worrying about that until the time comes. Do you need to speak sense here? Crew can just react to, an, to events as they happen, play it by ear. Gotcha, I'll apply myself. Liberating colonies. Destroying a colony's flame clock will liberate it from the console's cross. Once liberated, the people are free to act uh, how they like. Opening up new 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 info fragments to find. Right. Level. Every time a colony is liberated, the warning level of its nation, Kevis or Agnes, will increase. The warning level for each nation can be checked in the main menu. Hmm. As the threat level increases, so too will the number of soldiers from each nation, each nation deployed on the field. Oh, affinity chart, finally. Uh, you can check how various people in a, in a colony get along with each other by using the affinity chart. It also shows you a basic profile of each person. Finally, we unlock that. Colony Sigma, Pond Caravan. That piece already?
my pizza got here really fast. I didn't think it was gonna get here that fast. Um, I have to move my stuff the other way. Huge box. Um. I will do I don't know if this is how big the world is it might be I don't think so though I think it's bigger than this this might oh this is I think this is just the area where we are only here over here, I right hear. Uh, oh, they show their terms. I wonder who's on their ninth or tenth, or almost their tenth term. Oh, Nalpons don't have uh, terms; they have ages. I did not know that. Blue chain. I've already done most of these uh encyclopedia things. Wamba passed the died. Uh, Marlin, I'm guessing, died. Olivia died. Oh yeah, they they're the people that died, yeah. I remember that. These are the new people I haven't I don't have the items given. Hmm. That probably won't be for a while before I can do those collectopedias. Term 10. Oh, he's on his 10th term. Zeon is on his 10th term. I think uh, Noah's on his 9th. And uh, uh, Mio is on her 10th. Wonder oh, Ethel's on her 10th too. Commander like no other. Oh. Pete Boliaris is on his 9th. 23 that an alpha on 23 word and really uh, like nobody else is really connected Bill shields 32 however old my controller die Pizza is making the room hotter. All right, hold on. Ah. Right. So I wonder if I go back in here, if I if I if I can find something for someone to talk about or something before I leave. Yep. You'll note that the annihilation effect. I probably won't. I probably won't read everything. My voice is starting to get strained. So I'll just leave it up there and I'll read it on my. I thought I just saw someone else with the exclamation point. Did that not? But there's two people right there. I don't know if the time of uh, the if the time of day changes who uh, I can talk to. Him. Didn't the person just walk in there?
Some relations have changed. Hmm. Guessing something with the infinity chart changed. Cool. I think that was everybody I talked to. Outside. Huh. Huh. This sounds pretty serious. I like this. I like going. I like re going through the areas. Spending more time in the areas, getting to know uh, the, uh, the colonies and characters and stuff. No matter if they're minor or major. Very interesting. Because this is my third or fourth time going through this colony. Uh, and learning about the area, learning about the people. And uh, hearing uh, information that doesn't stop after one, one visit. You have to go through an area multiple times in order to Let's see and hear this. everything that you need. And uh, if you're willing to get as much out of the game as you can. I heard this game was really long too, so. That's a good thing for me. I like, I really like, I love long game. And there's a little grind thing you can do, but I, I don't have that ability yet. I don't know how to unlock it. I'm sure it's story related, so I won't be able to do it for a while. I'm making sure there's no person around to uh, talk to. For information to hear. everybody is enjoying this game and I thank everybody for stopping by for the stream uh, to the stream check out the game if you guys are still on the fence or, or if you're waiting for your copy to arrive oh where are where are they where's uh headful and what is his name Start with B. I don't know where they are. Damn. Yeah, that that earlier that changed this entity. I don't think I can equip her, right? Maybe they're showing us the way to go and they're waiting for us. I'm guessing. I might eat on stream. I usually don't. I try not to, but I'm pretty hungry. Oh, there's a hero quest right here. Right? I'll do these first. I think we need to discuss this. I'll, I'll, I'll um. I'll just I won't I won't I won't read 
I will, I'll read the last one, but I won't read the. Bill. Let's lay out the facts. I wanted to play. Well, I was thinking about getting Digimon. Uh, Digimon Survive. It's like a tactical RPG game uh, with Digimon. It's like a tactical RPG mixed with, uh, what is it called? A narrative story. I forgot what it's called. The, the It's like, um, oh my gosh. I forgot what the word is, but it looked very interesting. I don't know how the gameplay is. I didn't really get to see too much, like the battling and mechanics and stuff, but it looks interesting. I'll probably play it way after this. Maybe I'll get it when it's on sale. It's good that we're the 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 cast is or the the party is like using their time to help out other people while they can. I like that. I think we need to discuss this. And it's not just a it's not just accept the quest, uh, just go do it. It's it's like the team is like actively talking about it. It's it's it's, it's engaging. It's pretty good. Oh, I was gonna read this. I agree. If they are really up against a large battalion, there could be a lot of casualties. What I want to know is why now all of this. It's just a theory, but I imagine that they consider this a particularly opportune moment. Striking when the enemy defenses are are at their weakest is one of the oldest tricks in the book. Hmm. Only thing that fits time-wise is us becoming Ouroboros. So what? You're. So what? Are you saying it's our fault? Well, it is possible. In any case, they wouldn't be launching on that scale without some kind of justification we should go we should go and help them if we if we hurry there might still be a chance yeah and we'd never forgive ourselves if we okay let's go and talk to the commander work together we should be able to keep casualty i just hope they'll believe us if not we can always try a different approach well that if that's settled then i believe our next stop is fine so it would be a far, it would be far from ideal if we end up having to stay stave off the attack by ourselves yeah, best prepared. Oh, and sorry for getting you wrapped up in our affairs. Don't worry about that. Let's just do what we can, right? Where the heart is. Hmm. I don't know who we get for that. All right, everyone. Time to head. So can I go? Can I just go there? I have to go to a different region. I don't think I could fast travel there. Oh, the side quests are in this area. Oh no, I have to talk to Denzel, right? Stopping. Thing he's not walking around. He's upset. 
at <laughs> at them. Uh, oh, I didn't even see. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna check this out in a second. Do your job. Yeah, he's angry at them. <laughs> They're kids. Come on now. How old is he? 23. Never mind. He's not a kid. Uh, he's Evan. He looks younger than that. Uh, I don't know what age everybody starts off as. They don't start off at, at, at one year old. Like like infant, they don't start at infant. They start at like a young adult, I'm pretty sure. Or a teenager. Okay, so affinity level rewards. Item retriever, caravan call, slow digestion. Which means your food will probably last longer. Shiny hunter, silent steps. That's the only one that shows. Silent steps, slow di di digestion. That means I have those. Oh, I do. I nice. Make life a bit easier for us. Huh. Item collection range is good. Meal effect duration. Causing the pond. Oh, okay. So that's why well, that explains it. Okay, never mind. That explains why that Napon caravan is there. And the more affinity you have, the better for, for overall gameplay. It changes. Good. <laughs> You're his senior. Upon do age uh, differently. What in the world is that name? Lynn Edward? That don't sound right. I see some relations have changed. The Doran came with us, it looked like. Not a guest. Not a hero. Or if we could fast travel here. Oh, we can't. Oh, we can go anywhere now. Oh, nice. So I can go up here? No, I can't. Oh, this is the only place I can go. I wonder why. I could go here. I'll do that in a minute. I'll do that after I finish this area's quest. We you can't get to that to that screen by just opening up the map. Can't get to the the other region. First list. How about we go here? That's weird. Oh, Dorn is up there. I'll go here first. Is which quest? A speed. The other quest is progressing the story. It's that way. Of the way to progress the story. So I'll, I'll do these first. I haven't seen crabbles in a while. I don't think there's any on this uh, in these areas. Usually by water, but I didn't see them by the lake. Not the lake, but by the whatever it's called, the body of water that I was at before. Earlier. I would like to eat my.
Wait. Um. I don't want this to seem really boring, but at the same time, I'm hungry. I eat decently slow. Music's all calm. Good to add more names. thing is uh I think it's making them faster so I might take the acceleration back off five of 17 oh I haven't gotten my um my talent art at all yet. So that doesn't increase it at all. This is a gift with well, the guy from the cutscene here. The one that pointed his finger at, me, at Mio's head.
So maybe this side quest leads to another side quest? I see some relations have changed. I think that's gonna be it for me today. I wanted to shoot more, but I, I got hungry and I don't want to eat on stream. I just want to enjoy my eating while I might, I'm not gonna play the game while I'm eating, obviously. I don't want to triple try multitask like that. But um, I appreciate everybody for stopping by, checking out the stream, checking out the game, if you did. Um, I'm gonna stream this more Maybe not tomorrow or Sunday, maybe Monday. Um, for sure, probably Monday. For sure, probably. Uh, most likely Monday because uh, I'm off the rest of the week. Uh, Monday through Sunday. But I'm, I'm going to try to stream as, as this as much as I can for as long as I can. Uh, I'll try to stream. I'll try to eat before stream or I stream early enough to the point where by the time I want to end, I'll be eating at that time. So. We'll see. We'll see how things go. Maybe I might stream multiple times a day, or at least twice in a day, uh, before I eat and after I eat. I don't know. But uh, thank y'all for joining. I appreciate everybody for stopping by. Y'all have a good one.